and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I will be discussing the Mike Leake signing with the St. Louis Cardinals. Five years, $80 million with an option for the 60 year and the no trade clause in, invested into the contract. After missing out on David Price, Jeff Samarja, and John Lackey, the St. Louis Cardinals had decided to sign a second tier starter on the free agent market. Mike Leake knows the NL Central extremely well, so he will be a good fit for the Cardinals. With logging over 444 innings of work against the NL Central foes, with 26 victories and an ERA of 3.80. Mike Leake has had high expectations his whole career, as he was a top prospect and a top college player. Being the number two starter behind Johnny Quaid over the years in Cincinnati, the expectations and the pressure of worship was extremely high on him, possibly causing him to not live up to them. But that will be a problem in St. Louis, as he will be the number four guy in the rotation behind Michael Walker, Wayne Wright, and Martinez or Garcia. Mike Leake has numbers that have been improving over the past few years. But overall, even if he does live, doesn't live up to the expectations, he certainly is a nice fit to solidify the middle of that rotation as he is very consistent and healthy. He has only had two minor, minor injuries his whole MLB career and is very consistent to bring a lot of innings of work into the rotation. His innings has certainly increased over the past four years, and they, he has pitched 138.1 innings, 167.2, 179, 214, then back down slightly in 2015 with 192 innings of work. Another sign of consistency for him is quality star percentage. His quality star percentage has been 60% or higher in the past two years, with the league average of 51 or 52%. His whip is also an indication of how consistent he is, as his whip reached a career low in 2015 of 1.161, which means that's how many runners he averaged to allow on base per inning, when the league average is usually around 1.4, so that certainly is a good number to look at. One of the big reasons why he is a perfect fit for St. Louis Cardinals for him improving his statistics and career numbers is having Yadier Molina behind the plate, framing and calling his games, while Mike McBean will be in the in the dugout, managing him and mentoring him, as he was also a catcher. So having those two guys in the clubhouse with him to help improve his career numbers will certainly be a big benefactor with his five years in St. Louis. One thing to look at that is a that is a um, definitely a beneficial factor and addition of value for his contract is how good of a hitter he is. He has six home runs and 23 RBIs um, with a 214 career batting average in the major leagues. So he certainly is a good hitting pitcher and that adds value to any NL NL squad. And he has as pitchers will hit the National League. However, at the end of the day, he is right-handed pitcher, and now St. Louis has an abundance of them, and only one left-handed pitcher in Garcia in the rotation. So they could have been better off that they signed to Scott Cashmere to add their lefty, but in the end, Mike Leake only earning $16 million a year on average is certainly going to be a bargain, as there should be no reason why his numbers don't better with the Yadier and with the mentoring him. So that is the end of my video. I hope you guys keep watching my videos and follow me on my blog at johnnyallsbaseballclubhouse.com. Thank you.